Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a chatty get ready with me using new products from the Desi X Katie Collection and Dose of Colors. Real quick, if you're new, I'd love for you to join the fam, so hit the subscribe button and tap the bell so that way you stay notified when my next video goes live. So I'm just gonna say right off the bat, kind of like a spoiler alert, but I love everything from this collection. Well, I can't say everything because I don't have everything from the collection, but from what I did order, I loved it. I'm gonna leave everything linked down below if it's still available. I highly recommend this palette so much. Like, I love this collection. I love Desi and Katie so much. They're like my favorite YouTubers. Also, I did not show you guys the over-the-top gloss, like, live. I'm gonna go ahead and put it over, I have on Aftermath. And so this is the first time I'm trying their gloss. So here we go. I should probably use like a lip brush and take some of the product on the back of my hand and then apply it because I don't want my tube to start getting nasty. Without further ado, let's get on to this video. So I'm super excited. I got my hands on a few products from the Dose of Colors Desi X Katie collection. Round two, hashtag Dose of Desi X Katie. This is the Friendcation palette. Ugh, it is so pretty. Like this blue purple shade with the shift and it is so pretty like it looks blue I don't know how to explain it it's like when I show it to you guys to me like I see blue on the viewfinder but when I look at it I see that purple shift and I don't know how to get that across on camera and then also this one right here kind of looks like a midnight teal but when you swatch it it's like a black shade like you barely have to touch it and you can get a good swatch out of it there's a lot of swatch videos out there if you guys want me to swatch this palette i usually do swatches on my instagram so i'll try to get some of that up and then i also got the highlighter chasing the sun which i want to show you guys if you don't know the packaging is different it's a lot more bronzier and warmer than this one right here. This one is like really light and kind of more of a champagne shade. And this is Fuego. And then this one is Chasing the Sun. And then I picked up three lippies. All right, guys, this is my early birthday present. The first one I got is the creme lipstick in the shade Aftermath. It's just a stunning like burnt like sienna or something. I'm not sure how they describe it but oh my god I'm living for it. I got one of their liquid, blah, 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 <laughs> liquid lipsticks in the shade My Main. I think I'm gonna put on this one so I can show you guys Aftermath and then I'm gonna do another video and then I'm gonna switch to My Main. I did of course get the over the top gloss because everyone raved about it. I'm not a huge gloss person. Everyone just loved it so I had to get my hands on it. I already primed my face using the Photo Focus Matte Primer. I think I'm I'm just gonna spot conceal but I like to put a little bit of foundation around my eyebrows and on my lids loading to act as a primer and I also do this trick when I want to do my brows before my foundation there are times where I'm putting foundation and I accidentally go too low and I get it in my brows and I kind of erase it so yeah it kind of sucks so I try to put like concealer above around my brow so that way I could just bring like the foundation just right above the brow. I hope all that makes sense. I'm going to go ahead and set it using the Mega Glow Contouring Palette from Wet n Wild. I'm gonna use this shade right here. Oh my gosh, I swear I'm like never going to use up this palette. I try so hard to use this. This is the only face palette I reach for and it's just like it's not going anywhere and I'm like what? the heck i've been using it probably for about five months or so or longer i'm not sure i mean i've obviously hit major pan but i'm like when are you gonna be done because i have other face palettes that i want to use up as well i'm gonna move on to brows really quick and i'm gonna do that off camera because my brows are being very rebellious and they don't want to be even so i have to get like super up close and take my time so I'll be right back. I've been going more for a bit of a bolder brow. I've actually switched to a darker brow product. I cannot speak today. I'm using the e.l.f. brow pencil and this is in the shade deep brown and I think the one that I was using, I think I used it up, I think that one was neutral brown. So we already have the eyes set. I think I'm going to set them one more time just because I want to go ahead and dip into this palette. I'm going to go into the shade basic just a matte setting shade. We're actually going to the Harley Davidson here in Round Rock. They're having like a little like 
not, I don't know if it's like appreciation, customer appreciation event. I don't know. We're going to go to that and I don't want to be like too crazy on my makeup. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to start off with a transition shade. So I'm going to go into Necessary. This one right here. It's like a very light brown shade. I don't know. Using this palette, you guys, ugh, it just makes me feel some type of way. I'm so excited. I love Desi and Katie so much. Man, this is pigmented too. I'm like barely like sticking my brush in here. Oh my gosh. Like you guys can probably see it from here or like from there. <laughs> it is gorgeous. So I'm gonna just blend that all the way up. I'm gonna try to make this like a uh, not super long try to get ready with me because to be honest, I don't like the editing part of this. I like break a lot. Like I say ums or I stop talking or I lose my train of thought. So yeah, editing sucks on my end. I started working out at Planet Fitness and I go two times a week. week blah. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I go twice a week, which is whenever Savannah goes to her preschool. For the first maybe two or three weeks, she was crying like they had to peel her off of me. But now she like waves bye to me. She's like, bye mommy. And I'm just like, oh. She's starting to like it, so that's good. Back to me going to the gym. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling confident. I've found like solid upper body and lower body routines just because I don't have enough days to um, isolate certain parts of the body. So I got to get my workout in when I can. I'm going to take Churro, this deeper warm brown shade. I think it's warm. Neutral. It looks warm. I'm going to put it all over the lid. Whoa. Okay. Very sparingly, very carefully. Okay, okay. Wow, this is so pretty. Ugh, hopefully I can get them gains. Them Planet Fitness gains that everyone says don't exist. Well, they'll exist for me because I haven't been to the gym in maybe like over a year or longer. Like an actual gym. I, I will work out with body weight. I think I was doing that back in the spring. I'm back at it again. So it's never too late to, you know, get your body right and get it nice and tight. Okay, I'm gonna go back with that same blending brush I used earlier. There's no product on it, but I'm just gonna blend these two colors together. I just wanna say again, I like freaking apologize so many times that my upload schedule just hasn't been consistent. I'm so sorry. Like I'm trying to do Tuesday and Friday videos and then I try doing like Tuesday, Thursday and it ends up just being either I upload on a Tuesday or the video goes live on Saturday and I'm just a hot mess right now. Um, I think I'm starting to like Everything's starting to like slow down. We had a lot of work orders in the house before our home warranty was up. So I had to stay home a lot of the time or I had to rush to get home and I couldn't record. So here we are. So I have a list of all the videos I want to do. I want to take, what is this? Just a kiss. And da, 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 da. I'm gonna put that, I think I'm just gonna press it on the lid. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and set my brow. I don't wanna do a shimmery brow. I'm just going to pat basic underneath the brow. Anyways, what was I gonna do? Okay, yeah, we're gonna put Just a Kiss. Kinda reminds me of the one from the other palette. I forget what it's called. Anyways, it reminds me of Suze, this shade right here. So this one is Suze, and then that one is Just a Kiss. And then with this palette, their shimmer shades, you don't have to use like a wet brush or wet your finger or anything. Versus I think there's two of these shades, I can't remember which ones they are, that you have to use them wet. Okay, so I'm going to take my finger. Oh, my face is itching. So, alright. Ooh, I like that. Oh my gosh, I am officially obsessed. Wow. Ugh. I love it. This is perfect. It's like not too much, not too little. I just barely am pressing my finger in here because it's not meant to be a full opaque shade. It's going to have a little bit of sheerness to it and that's why it's called Just a Kiss. Literally, I'm like pressing, not hard, but I'm just gently pressing my finger. I'm not going to do it again because a little bit goes a long way. Oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. Ugh, they did a good job. I don't know if it's just me, but I see like a little, not red reflex. Maybe it is red or like a super bronzy reflect in it. My gosh, it is stunning. I was going to try not to be extra today, but you know, sometimes you just got to go there. Okay, um, I'm going to take a smaller crease brush. I think I'm going to go back into necessary. I'm going to hit that in the crease a little bit more just to kind of like bring it back a little bit. And I was kind of scared of like fallout. Well, kind of, but not really. 
Um, I'm trying to do where I do my eyes first and then my face to kind of let my primer set because this primer has been a holy grail for me. And what I figured out is I have to leave it on for about five, 10 minutes. Any foundation that I put that's silicone based because this is a silicone primer that has caused me to be oily like this Milani one. It used to make me oily within like two hours. I can get probably like four or five hours and then my nose starts to get oily. So it's insane. I freaking love it. My face, it's finally healing. I'm getting some little breakouts here and there, but for the most part, it's healing because I've been consistent. I think I'm going to do a video once my face is actually clearing up more. I'm going to do a video on how I finally took control of my acne prone skin. I'm going to take the concealer Wet n Wild Photo Focus. This is in the shade Light Medium. I'm just going to kind of not really use it as a foundation. I'm just going to put it here and there, especially on my acne spots and scars and marks. I'm going to add a little bit on my forehead so it doesn't look too weird because you can tell sometimes like where you put concealer. I don't want to look crazy like that. So here we are. And if I don't want the product to move around so much, I kind of do have to blend it out in some areas, but I will keep pressing the brush in the same like spot to press the product into my skin. And then if I see that there's still like an outline or something, then I'll go ahead and buff it out. I am gonna touch a little bit on the under eye. You can tell. It's like, girl, you don't miss them under eyes. Today is October 4th. We're gonna be going to a Houston Texans versus Dallas Cowboys football game on Sunday. I'm super excited. That's an early birthday gift from Shane slash his uncle. So I'm super, super grateful for that, for them allowing us to, you know, have their season tickets for that game. Their tickets to every game, so freaking expensive. Like I just, I just don't get it. <laughs> I gotta fake my under eyes because I don't know why all of a sudden they are just creasing like crazy. We're gonna let that sit and then I'm gonna set the rest of my face to kind of tone all this like whiteness, lightness, ghostness down just a little bit because this concealer right here is literally the shade of my face and the rest of my body is a lot darker than my face right now. I already used up, I think I was using me medium tawny concealer and I already used that one up so I might have to get another one. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Shine Proof Powder in the shade 05 Natural Beige. I do have a review of this product by itself and I will link it up here in the eye cards in that description bar of that movie, a uh, movie, <laughs> of that video. I do have a playlist of all the foundations that I've tried for my acne oily prone, no, oily acne prone skin. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys. You would swear that it's been forever since I made a video considering, considering I'm stumbling over my words. Oh my gosh, I can't. I cannot deal. Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette again. This is in the shade Dulce de Leche. And I'm gonna link everything down below. You know what? I'm trying to get my collection to be more on the affordable side. I think I've mentioned this in previous videos where I want to take my channel more to a affordable side. I do splurge occasionally. Occasionally. It kind of just so happened that it's around my birthday. So I got the Dose of Colors collection Desi X Katie. There's times where Shane will be like, let's go to Sephora, let's go to Ulta. And for the most part, I try to pick more affordable stuff, but there's been times where he will surprise me with palettes and I'm just like, oh my God, thank you. And then I'll decide from there if I want to keep them or not. A long time ago, he got me the Kat Von D Pastel Goth palette. I wasn't a huge fan of it. He thought it was like a cute palette and thought that I would like it, but I was like, eh. I really don't like it. I don't like myself in super cool tones, like barely even neutral eyeshadows. I'm not about the pastel life, really. He tries. <laughs> two City Color blushes. Actually, I'm not gonna use two. I'm just, I just don't know which one to use. This one is papaya, and this one is toasted coconut. I don't know which one to use. I kind of want to use this one just to like add even more warmth to my face, but then I want like a rosiness. I think I'm gonna dip into both of these and we'll see what happens. Okay, so let's see. So I haven't forgot about the bake. I know you guys are like, um, didn't you forget you have like bake under your eyes? No, I didn't forget. I just really had to let it bake that long. I'm a little bit crazy when it comes to blush. I think you guys already know that, but if you're new, I use a lot of blush. I like to drape 
my blush because my cheeks will eat it all. It'll look better after a while. I don't want to like swirl my brush around on my chin too much because it's going to move the product. And I do the same thing with my nose. I like barely lightly hit it because I used to like swirl my brush everywhere and I noticed it started moving like all the product on my nose around. So I stopped doing that. I'm going to tight line with some black eyeliner. I usually do this before I do eyeshadow. Just for the sake of time, I already did one eye off camera. To finish the lower lash line, I already wiped my bake off and everything. I'm going to take necessary and I'm just going to run that on the lower lash line and I'm going to even try to connect it back up here. Next shade I'm going to take is Churro. Run that like literally I guess like between the lashes to kind of act as a liner if you will. We're still going to line the waterline but I like to do this for a little bit more definition without having to put a harsh dark color on the actual waterline. And then I'm going to just do little strokes down like this to bring it a little lower. The next shade I'm going to take is Chains which is this brown shade right here. For the waterline, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Coal Crayon Color Icon. Ugh, it's a long name. In the shade, calling your buff. I always get it confused with another nude eyeliner that I have. For mascara, I'm going to use the Smashbox X-Rated Mascara Volmateur. This is a new mascara that I'm breaking out of my stash. And you know what it reminds me of? The Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. Like, it smells like it. I think by now, a lot of mascaras have their one tube that's going to have the little fibers in it. The brush is very soft. I love the brush on this. It is a lot smoother, a lot thinner, because it is a buildable formula. It says, I checked it out, I was like, what are the claims on this? It says it's volumizing and lengthening and it's lightweight enough for you to build your coats without it getting all clumpy. And it says it is smudge proof and flake free. I wore it yesterday, but I didn't notice to see if it's actually free flake free. Let's do the lip. So this is the creme lipstick in the shade Aftermath for the thousandth time. Ooh. <laughs> I don't even know if you guys can see that. Okay, I haven't done this side, but you can kind of see this side, right? Right? Because so I have like a droopy side. I think it's this side that's droopy and this one's kind of more like rounded. So <sighs> it's so hard. It takes me forever to like do my lipstick. It feels really nice and like comfortable and it feels good. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're gonna use the highlighter. Oh man, I am so ready. Wow. I didn't expect it to be like that bronzy. I'm gonna put some on my temples too because I always do that. Little trick, little tip I learned from Desi and Katie. It does make me look a little bit more tan. <laughs> so I'm living for it. I think we're done. Oh my gosh, we are so done. Well, actually the last part, I always do my brow gel last. Just in case there's any powder, then it kind of just like turns the powder into the gel stuff. It makes it disappear. Okay, so you can see it there, right? Mm, mm, mm. I am loving it. All right, so I thoroughly enjoyed the Desi X Katie, the Dose of Colors eyeshadow palette. I know I didn't dip into all the shades, but the one, two, three, four shades, five shades that I dipped into, I already love them so much. Like, I feel like I'm gonna use this palette for the rest of the year. Who knows, I might keep going on with the spring because these could still work all year round. So I don't know, I might have this right here on my makeup stand and then this highlighter. I think I'm going to keep it out because it does make me look a little bit more tan and bronzy versus the other highlights that I've been using. They're kind of too light for me right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this a kind of chatty get ready with me. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Have a blessed day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.